are the regional office of the electoral commission okay currently currently we are at the regional office of the electoral commission right here in tamale in the northern region and with me is mr lucas Yirio. he is the regional director of the electoral commission and he's here to speak to us about their preparedness and other matters concerning tomorrow's voting good afternoon sir. good afternoon you're welcome to you thank you very much thank you very much congratulations on all that you have done but it seems very calm here i didn't expect to feel and experience this much of calm what's going on yes we have pushed all the material to the district okay so as i was saying we earlier received the biometric voter verification devices and the procedure was that we received at the police station check them to ensure that the quantity and uh, the accessories were there okay we left them there three days time we received the ballot papers we inspected them for the quality and the quantity and everything was okay we then moved them from the police station the police armory to the district police armory okay uh, we early on picked the bbds to power them and check whether they are functioning and uh, we didn't have much problem we saved some few which we have transported to accra okay. and we're getting a replacement okay then but those the, replacements have not arrived yet. The vehicle is just about to enter. Okay. But all that is required for them to start election they have. is just a backup. Okay. That they have enough for the start. Okay. Then we are now we today we pick the ballot papers. And what we are doing is that we are putting assigning them to the, the polling stations according to the voter population hmm. and the uh, the number of ballots that is required to process voters on that day. Okay. So currently that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. That one here is calm. When you go to a district office, a different scenario there. Exactly. You see a more, lot of people there. All activities are taking place at the mm -hmm. district office as of now. Okay. But say, how many eligible voters are in this area? We have a little bit over 1.2 million recent voters okay. who are to vote. And before you ask me, we have 2,445 2, polling centers mm -hmm. or polling stations where eligible voters are supposed to go and they Exercise. process and they go through the process and have their vote uh, cast their vote okay but historically according to your records what do you think the turnout will be for tomorrow the turnout we will expect over 70 uh, percent normally they register what normally uh, bring down the turnout is that there are a lot of disease names in the register okay and then we don't expect them to vote. But those who vote, I'm sure, will be a little bit over 80%. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. You know, safety is of a prime concern to many citizens as per the voting tomorrow. How ready are you to collaborate with the Ghana Police Service to ensure safety and orderliness in, in, in the region? Yes, there is an election security task force, which we have met a number of times with the police. We have given them what we call the flashpoint or trouble areas. They are also preparing towards that. As that yesterday, they started receiving the security personnel from Accra, Kumasi, and other places that are coming to support the number here. Of course, we don't have enough number to cover all the polling stations, mm -hmm. but we've got a number of personnel from Accra and Kumasi. Okay. Today, a number arrived. So they are currently at the Jubilee Park, dispatching them ahead to the district centers. Mm -hmm. And what we have done to this year is that we have given every district commander the presiding officer's numbers. Okay. Mostly when the uh, security personnel get to the center, the presiding officer might have left. So what we are saying that they should get there a day before, get to know the presiding officer, and probably even get to know the city in there, where they are going to be assigned. So right now, most of them from the, who are assigned, who are assigned going to the far, far away centers mm. are already there. Okay. They are now getting to know their presiding officers. Tomorrow, some may even live at dawn, mm -hmm. so they will know when they will be dispatching the ballot paper, okay. so that they will get there to okay. join the presiding officers okay. and then uh, provide their security at the center. Uh, lastly, for the citizens who are in these hotspots, what will be your message to them? Well, the election is, is a peaceful exercise. You are to cast one vote and go home and allow your neighbor to cast one vote. It's a constitutional right. Mm -hmm. So when you are there trying to prevent somebody, you will get into the a problem with the law and the police are prepared to deal with people who want to obstruct or perform activities that are not required of them on that day we are saying that when you vote go home 
You see, when you crowd there and they group by party, uh, the trade comes and those who ignite the, the fight. Because when somebody, when some of them even try to uh, signal to the people in the queue, vote for this person, vote for this person, mm -hmm. and by that, it developed into a problem. Sir, but the political parties are saying that after you vote, stick around, make sure that you observe the counting so that everything is free and fair. It's not proper because you have an agent there. Okay. The parties have their agent who are to see to their interest and see to it that our officers are doing the right thing. So the electorate need not be there. When you are there, and that is where the problem for me. Okay. Because these are this party come, these are this party come, and they sometimes throw insult at each other. They are sometimes trying to even uh, signal to the voters in the queue, vote for this person. And by that, it developed a problem. Okay. So what we are advising them, the go. You can come at five to observe the county. That's the most important thing. Okay. You cannot police the ballot. The police are there. Your agent is there for your interest. So we will advise them that they should go home. Okay. Come at seven, uh, at five, and observe the counting and get the results and go home. All right. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so I'm much. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. And that's the regional director of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Lucas Yiriel. Tomorrow, definitely, I'm sure we'll encounter him again and continue this conversation. But 1,209,000. 940 voters are expected to turn up tomorrow because that's the number of eligible voters in all 18 constituencies in the northern region from Kwandai, Bimbila, Wulensi, Zabzuguta, Tatale, Sanguli, Yendi, Miong, Saboba, Gushegu, Karaga, Savlugu, Nantong, Tamale South, Tamale Central, Sanerugu, Tamale North, Tolong and Kumbungu. These are all the 18 constituencies in this region. So if you're here, please make sure that you head to the polling stations tomorrow to cast your vote. I am Cookie. This is your election command center. We'll be back with more.